Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and today we're going to do another legal question, first bad version. Okay, let's first understand what the question is asking. So we're given an array here, um, which has n versions, and we're given the length of the array um, as our input n. And what we want to find out is the first bad version in this array. And we're also given an API function here is bad version, which will just tell me if the version is um, bad or good. Okay, so it will return true if the version is good and it will return false if it's a bad version. So if we try to do this um, manually, let's say we have our bad version here at four, and if I called is bad version on three, it would give me uh, false because the bad version starts from here. And if I called version is bad version five, it would give me true. So what we need to find is where did our first bad version start? So in this case, that would be four. So if I um, called is bad version with four, it should return true. So what we can observe here is that our from our starting point, we need to find the first um, bad version from this side here, from the left. Okay, now I'll go ahead and discuss a few ways to solve this problem. The first solution that comes to mind when trying to solve this problem is just calling is bad version on each of the items in the array. So I would call, hey, is bad version one, and that would return false, and then go to two, and then call is bad version two, and that would return false, and then go to three and say is bad version three, and that would return false. And then at four, we would say is bad version four, and that would return true. And that's the first true we're looking for. Um, however, the time complexity for um, this um, method would create um, more calls to the is bad version, right? Because uh, our worst case is if um, our search element was the last element, we would have to call each element in the array to get to that last version. And that would take um, O of n time. And we would iterate through each element and uh, we would just return when we get the first true. So leak code doesn't want us to make too many calls to is bad version. And that's why we are going to use um, binary search to improve our time complexity and find a faster way to solve this problem. Great, so let's do a walkthrough with our example here with binary search. Here I've identified what the left is and what the right is. And the reason we're starting our indexing from one is because um, the question says that the versions start from one here. Okay, and so if we did a regular binary search on this array, our midpoint would be three over here. And if you haven't done binary search before, I highly recommend you do that before approaching this question because it's gonna make it easier for you to understand. So we're at our mid here at three and our bad version starts at four. And in a regular binary search, we just um, narrow our search space. So we move our pointers here. So we'll move the left pointer here, which is mid plus one and our right pointer here, which is going to be five. And then again, we find the mid, which is four, and our um, left pointer is still, now they're both at the same place, and our left pointer um, is at four, which is what we want to return. So the idea here is that we return our left pointer, since we notice that we need to find the first uh, version from the left. So if we just maintain that left pointer and return it, we should be able to uh, find the correct value here. And that's the whole idea to do this binary search and solve this problem. So the time complexity for binary search is uh, log n, and uh, these are the three steps we need to implement in our solutions. So 
we're going to check if the bad version is at the mid so that's what we did here and then we're going to iterate from the mid to either the left or right and the one thing that we want to um, understand here is that if uh, if we find if uh, we found a bad version is true at 3, uh, then we need to include this in our next search because the bad version, uh, the first bad version could be 3. So we're not going to uh, limit it from here to here, which is what we would do in a normal binary search. So we are going to keep that value included. So to do this, we just, it's very simple, you just do mid equals right equals mid. So that's the only difference uh, in the solution versus a regular binary search. So we're just going to move the right pointer over here because we want to have this possibility um, in our search space. So that's the reason we're doing that. And then the last thing we want to do is return the leftmost index. Okay, if all of this makes sense, then we can go ahead and look at the code. Great, so I'm back in leak code and what I've done here is I've initialized my left and right um, variables. So the left we're going to start at one because that's what the question wants us to do. Um, that's our first version and the right will be the last element, the last index in the array, which is n. So while I have that, I can go ahead and say while left is less than right, And what we need to do here is find the mid. So mid is equal to left plus right uh, divide by two and get the floor function of that. So that's how we're doing our mid. Um, and then what we need to do is check if our mid is the bad version. So if is bad version mid then what we need to do is we are just going to set our right to the mid and this is what I explained before um, where we want to include the mid in our search because that could be the first um, bad version. Okay, and after that's done, we can say else, else we are just going to move our pointer, our left pointer um, one over from the mid, so mid plus one. Okay, that's great. And the last thing we need to do is return, the return should be here, return left. Okay, so looks good. Let me run the code. Okay, finished. Accepted. Okay guys, so that was Leeco problem first bad version. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. All right, happy coding, guys.